All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live, so take off your pants, crack open a beer ski, and give in to the grind. Tonight, we're going to be continuing Final Fantasy VIII. I did a little bit of offline uh, offline grinding this uh, afternoon. So we got we got all the uh, dragon fangs, and we are at about level 24 now. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got all the dragon fangs we need. Uh, so now we are free to wait. Well, a we got to try to buy 30 tents. I don't know if we can do that, or if they uh, kind of punt us out of. Uh, out of uh, uh, punt us out of uh, Balam as soon as we get there. If they send us straight to the train or not. <laughs> All right. So let's roll. I'll show you the changes. I guess uh, our stats are a little bit better already. Um, but we, uh, let's check our, the abilities we have on our GFs. So we've got, uh, mid magic, uh, lightning and wind magic, and magic plus 20, and we got, uh, HPJ, and for Oigle we've got, uh, strength plus 20, uh, we had that before I guess, um, but we got vitality plus 20 and, and plus 40. Um, and then for Rage, I ended up using one of those Hyper Wrists to get him Strength plus 60. We got the Strength bonus equipped, so every time I level up, I get an extra bit of Strength added permanently. Uh, we got Ammo, our Refinery right now, and we're working on Hit Points Junction, so that we can Junction uh, Squall's Hit Points, and then we'll probably be getting Fire Magic. For Siren, we've got uh, Magic. Um, so Siren, both Siren and uh, Fates are junctioned to um, Selfie because she's our she's our the only person really that's going to be using any magic. Um, so we got magic plus twenty. I think we're working. Yeah, we're working on plus forty right now. We got life recovery. We got tool, and we got uh, status recovery. And for sanity, we are working on mug. Mug takes a long time. Uh, we got time magic already done, but it's it's mug we really need um, for when we get to timber. So yes, oh, and I'll show you one other thing that I did offline. Um, I got the where are they? Dragon fangs. So we need those in order to uh, break the game. I can't remember what we use them for. Um, it's either it's either the lion heart or we use them for um, Zell's. Uh, final uh, weapon all right so we can we can actually start making some story progress here we're gonna try and go to Balam and get some uh, like I said get some tents we got to get 30 tents so we can turn those mafkas into Kiragas and then uh, absolutely jack our hit points up so we're gonna turn this on to slow so we can stay on the goddamn road and avoid encounters. Alright, we're in Balam. I don't know where the item shop is. Like, it looks like this guy was supposed to be the item shop, but, like, I don't know if I can actually get to him. Are you the item shop there, pal? Oh my god. Oh. Car rental. Nope. No, no, no. You are not the item shop. You are a car rental agency. You should take your shop sign down. It's misleading! I don't know who this asshole is. Hi, Zell. How are you doing? Hey, how's it going? You know me. I'm always good. Good. Make sure you stop by and say hi to your mom. Not a chance, dude. We, we totally jacked her, uh... We jacked her Zell card, and now we are fucking off. Alright, I think there's an item shop right here. Yeah. Ain't nobody gives a shit about your gifts. We need some tents, baby. 30 to be exact. There we 
we go. And do we need any fuel or anything like that? Ooh, motherfucker. Alright, there's some other cool shit we can definitely do before we go to Timber here. Um, we don't really need to do anything above and beyond. Um, so let's start off with, uh, what do we need? The life magic? Yeah. And grab those tents. And... Hold on. What am I doing here? There we go. Whoops, I meant to give it to Selfie. Either, oh, it's not a big deal. I can uh, swap that immediately. One into five. That's like a pretty good deal, actually, for these. That's 80 right there. Okay. Um, what else do we got? Uh, let's go with the... Uh, so we gotta get that time magic. And, uh... Alright. So first, I don't think I can junction my hit points yet. No, I can't. I can very, very soon, though. Selfie can, but let's see... Okay, so Fates is the one that does it. I thought I had Fates and Sanity on her. Who... Uh, I don't have Sanity on anybody? What the fuck? Alright, well, let's give her... Let's give her... Uh, oops sanity right now and take fates off and uh, magic is all we're concerned about for her so all right let's go back to uh, let's go to Zell and give him fates we want to go strength but we want Kiraga to be here to jack that shit up. And we want the next highest thing to be in strength. We don't really need magic at all, to be honest. I guess we could slap Kira in there. And his abilities are good to go. Vitality, strength, okay. Oh, we should check Selfie's uh, abilities. Oh, she doesn't have any yet? Okay. So for now, let's go Auto and Strength. We'll use Kiraga until we learn uh, HPJ. So let's go... Uh, there's one other thing we need to do. Let's go to the Inn, though. So that we can uh, restore our hit points here. But first we need to save, just do a safety save before we continue breaking the shit out of this game. So we will, once I learn, uh, once Ifrit learns HP, HPJ, um, we will essentially triple all of our hit points. Uh, so we want card mod, and I believe the Quistus card. Yep. Yeah. Alright, Quistus card is now gone! Three Samantha, Samantha Souls, use Time ma Magic RF. For those Samantha Souls. Into 60 triples. So I believe if we do 60 to each. And then we can uh, we can steal a bunch from uh, selfie here. Uh, take all. There we go. And now we can jack my uh, strength up. There we go. And same with Zell. There we go. And 
we might as well see what selfie. Yeah, Kiraga is still her best there. So what I might actually do, since she can't even junction strength yet, let's give. Uh, let's take the rest of hers and jack him up a little bit more. All right, so we are set. Welcome to the lovely Balam Hotel. Hundred bucks. Fuck yeah, lady. We get paid a lot. Oh yeah, I also did the. Uh, because as you level up, you can take more of the seed exams. So I did a couple more seed exams. I'm now, my seed rank is now A. So I get paid more than than every motherfucker in this game, basically. I get, I've, I've basically hit the wage cap in this game. So we will be able to afford anything. All right, moving on now, off to timber. Train to Timber is here. 3,000 dollarinos. Please go inside right away. The Train to Timber will be leaving shortly. Okay. There, we just got paid. I didn't get to see it, though. Two, 20,000 gold every... I don't know how often, but... 20,000 gold. I believe we're coming up on the first Lagoon to Dream. train is awesome a transcontinental railroad baby even runs through an underwater tunnel to get to timber pretty cool huh sure is guess you're not interested by the way dookie you have to use the ticket to get inside okay Okay, we can go inside now. Confirming access granted. I'm gonna go check out the front. Teehee, thanks. The script is so awkward in this game. Let's go check it out, Dookie. The Didaeus. Yo, check this out. So this is Seed's private cabin. Whoa! Oh yeah! Awesome! I love trains. Train, train, take us away, take us away, far away, to the future we will go. Alright, let's fucking sit our asses down. <laughs> this is so cool! I'm glad you're so excited. They even have magazines here. Pets Pals, Volume 1. This is pretty damn amazing. It pays to be a member of Seed. Dookie, do you know anything about Timber? Uh, not too much. Thought so. Well, let me fill you in. Timber used to be a country surrounded by deep forests. But 18 years ago, Galbadia invaded. Timber fell quite easily to Galbadia, so now Timber is under Galbadia and occupation. It said there's a whole bunch of resistance factions, big and small. And? Nope, that's it. Thank you, Mr. Know It All Zell. Hey, no prob. I'm not feeling well. You should get some rest if you're tired. I'm really sleepy. You okay? Hey, uh... What the... Something's wrong with me too. I feel sleepy. What's going on? Ah. Oh. What is this? Could you imagine if somebody like walked in the room? <laughs> Selfie and Zell are at least like passed out on the couch, but Squall's just like laying face down on the carpet. Hmm?
Uh, Laguna, are you sure it's this way? What the? Huh? Okay, I think we're good. Ding 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 da ding dong da ding 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 da ding dong da ding dong. All right, we got Laguna and the boys. Laguna is the fucking best, man. I think Ward is selfie. Heroes is definitely uh, Zell, which makes sense because in a way he fights with his fists. Ding dong, da ding ding, da ding ding. Where am I? Who boy? Not again. They're like on their way home, aren't they? This is when we first go to uh, Delling City. They're so confused. They're like, what the fuck is happening? These guys are so creepy, man. And I think they can be fairly annoying, too. I don't know. I'm not sure. They might have like status fuck moves so as you can see we've already broke the game a little bit we're not done yet we're not even fucking close do 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 Ding 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 da ding dong da ding dong. Hey, aren't we here to fight a war? You know, against the Almighty Timber Army? Yeah, so why are we wasting our time messing with these animals? Well, you see, it's just that, uh. Don't tell me we're lost again. Anyway, we're going home. Delling City, here we come. Wait, Laguna? What do we have here? Ooh, water. Did that to Laguna, why not? Jump in the old Jeep Aruni. Hey, you can't park in the middle of the street. Chill man, it's cool. All right then, how about, how's about a drink? Whatever, like you drink. We already know you're not in it for the drinking. Just admit it already. Yeah, just drink some juice like a weenie. Then gawk at the piano lady. Don't call her the piano lady. That's it, forget it, I'm not going. We know you will. It just creates like a fucking traffic jam. I'm pretty sure it's this way. But I could be wrong. Yeah, there it is. It's in the Galbadia Hotel. Afraid it's only for hotel guests only. Alright, it's down here that we're supposed to go. Welcome, your usual table is ready. I'll walk around a bit. Are these, uh, is this Biggs and Wedge? I can't remember. I, uh, as of today, I'm assigned to Engineer Corps. Nice to meet you all. What a joyous day for me. Please, everyone, don't try to stop me. I would like to propose a toast to myself. Listen up, soldiers. I'm Julia's private bodyguard. Better not make a pass at her. All right, I'm there. Thanks. Is this a dream? Laguna's pretty cute. What's going on? What's happening to me? At ease, man. We're going all out tonight, right, boys? May I take your order? The usual. Me too. Keep them coming. 
There she is, boys. So Laguna, Julia should be making her appearance soon. You going for it tonight? Yeah, go for it. Whatever, man. Can't you see she's working? Don't go back on your word. Come on, go wave at her. Give me a break. So you say, but you, we know you'll do it. Ah, to be this close to, to Julia. Is this guy serious? Uh-oh. My leg's cramping up. Oh, fuck. Leg cramp. <laughs> Laguna's only weakness. Women and leg cramps. Fuck would that hurt. <laughs> Sad. He's going full. Like, how does... He's, like, making himself look like a fool even more so doing this than if he would have just sat down or just went up to her. It's like jogging laps with a leg cramp. Good work, Laguna. Mission successful. Here, have a seat. I didn't think you'd actually do it. Our popularity rating's gone up a point. Yeah, but you cut a pretty pitiful figure up there. I'd say you're about a minus three on the manliness scale. Say what you want. Uh, Julia sure is pretty. Uh, huh? Laguna, we're taking off. Hey, what's the rush? It's on us tonight. Relax and stay a while, Laguna. Okay. Oh, baby. May I? Ah! Uh! Did I interrupt anything? Not at all. P please, sit down. Oh man, oh man. It's really her. What do I do? Kiros? Ward? Help! What do I say? But, but, man, she's pretty. What's this guy thinking? You okay now? Kind of. How's your leg? Leg? Oh, this? E yeah, it's fine. Happens all the time when I get nervous. <coughs> Were you nervous? Oh yeah, I'm still kinda. You can relax, you don't have to get nervous around me. Oh, sorry. Say, would you like uh, to talk somewhere private? I have a room here. Oh shit! In your room? Well, it's pretty hard to talk freely in here, everyone's listening. Ah! Oh, Kira's and Warder's just standing there to you? If you'd like to, please come by. I've been wanting to talk to you. You don't want to? Of course I do. Then I'll go ahead and wait for you. Ask for my room at the front desk, okay? Oh, baby. Am I dreaming? This is a dream. This is a dream. No, this can't be a dream. This is too weird to be a dream. Julio wants to talk to me? He talks to himself too much. And just the two of us. Get it together, Laguna. Whatever. I always screw up by talking about myself too much. It's always been like that, but not tonight. I'm all ears for, for Julia. Ah, time to use my manly charm and help Julia with her problem. Pretty bold for just a grunt. Julia this, Julia that. Yeah, I'll fix you. Send you off to war a million miles away. Is that General Caraway? <laughs> Today is my special day, but Julia chose you. Why? Why must it always be like this? And why must it be on this day of all days? And <laughs> what the fuck? Can you really carry on a conversation with Julia? Make sure she, the conversation's sophisticated. No worries, man. That's like my specialty. One wouldn't say you converse, though. All you do is yap, 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 and never listen. Alright, but not tonight, boys. Welcome, checking in. Uh, which is Julia's room? 
Is he really going? Ah, Mr. Laguna the lawyer. I've been expecting you. Uh, let me show you to Miss Julia's room. Hey, Vector, how's it going, dude? With without saying hot, how's it going? It's actually kind of hot here today. Thanks for coming. No, not at all. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Have a seat. It's going alright? Yeah, same here, man. Is it leg cramp time again? No? Going so soon, we haven't even talked yet. No, it's not that. It's just that I'm a big fan of yours, so I'm really kind of nervous, you know? So that's why you come to hear me play so often. You... you saw me? Senpai has noticed him. What will he do? You were always smiling while listening, right? You have beautiful eyes, though they look a bit scared now. Don't worry, I'm not going to pluck him and eat him. I just want to talk, gazing into those eyes. Would you like a drink? Wine, perhaps? I must be dreaming. Yeah, I don't like fighting too much, but you get to travel, you know, seeing new places and stuff. And it's fun, because Kiros and Ward are always with me. Hey, we should all go drinking sometime. What do you say? And, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. I, so I want to quit the army and uh, become a journalist, so I can tell people about all the things I've seen on my travels. He's already loosened up. So, like, the other day, one of my articles made the readers call him. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, that was way cool. <laughs> Ligonier just doesn't shut up. I'm happy for you. Oh yeah, and then... I'm sorry, I didn't know wine made you sleepy. You look adorable when you're asleep. Ugh, how'd I fall asleep? Yes. I must have fallen asleep talking on like that. Tell me about yourself, like, your dreams for the future. I... I want to sing. Not just play the piano, but sing, too. Oh, I'd love to hear that. But I can't. I'm no good at writing lyrics. Hmm, that must be tough. But thanks to you, I think I can come up with something. Thanks to me? Whining sure does make you sleepy. <laughs> yes, the many faces you've shown me. Times when you were hurt, worried, or felt pain deep inside you. Your smile, your face, your eyes. I like how you can see that gate in the background. Like the gate where they, where they uh, kind of capture the sorceress. You've shown me something. I think I can come up with a song. Wow, I must be dreaming. It's not a dream, is it? Laguna, new orders. Meet by the presidential residence. On the double. Can we meet again? Of course. I have to come hear you sing. Next stop, Timber. Timber. Were we all asleep? Maybe someone released some sleeping gas. There's a lot of people who resent seed. Maybe. Better be careful. Am I missing anything? Anyone hurt? I don't think so. What a relief. Everything's cool with me. He, I had such a nice dream. I had a dream too. It wasn't nice though. I dreamt I was a moron. <laughs> this, is, this is dead. <laughs> we'll be arriving in Timber shortly. For those getting off, please be sure you have all your belongings. But seriously, Sir Laguna was so cool. 
Wait a minute. Hey, there was a Laguna in my dream, too. He's a Galbadian soldier, right? Laguna, Kiros, and Ward? Huh? That's it. That's what? There's no way we can understand this. Let's just concentrate on our first mission. I guess you're right. We'll put this incident on hold. I'll report it to the headmaster once we get back to Garden. We should be there soon, eh? Here we go. Suck yourself up, baby. Phew. Still sleepy. Hmm. The things they be happenings. My coaster stuck to the bottom of my beer bottle due to the condensation of my delicious ice cold beer ski. Oh, the force of timber sure have changed, but the owls are still around. Welcome to timber, sir. Come with me, sir. On vacation? That's not fair. My Georgie's in there. I hate this pet shop. Welcome. How's timber been treating you? Uh. Naughty. Uh. Wait. Model trains. They're out of stock. Watson's own bought the last one. The owner of the hotel used to make some great models. He used to make a lot of them. He disappeared after the war. No one makes them anymore, and now that he's gone or now that he's gone. Owl's tears, huh? We're out of stock. The old man living on the edge of town would have some. Alright, a map of timber. Map of timber is not for sale, but I'll show it to you. That is the worst map I have ever seen in my life. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The worst map ever. True, myself. Easy to, under to understand, huh? No, dude, that is the worst map ever. Naughty Magazine. I can't sell Naughty Magazines to underage kids. Well, but Zone is a regular here. I sell them to him sometimes. He was looking for a book called Girl Next Door. I should sell. Z you should tell Z uh, Zone if you ever find one. Okay. Please, this way, sir. Coming up to the old, uh, the train, the train robbery. Except we're not robbing a train, we literally rob a train. If that makes any sense. We literally steal a train. A car, I think. So you guys are seeds. I'm the squad leader, Dookie. This is Zell and Selfie. Man, Zone looks a lot younger in this version. Nice to meet you. I'm the leader of the Forest Owls. So, let's get on with it. What do we do? Zell <laughs> they just leave Zell hanging. Just take it easy. Here, let me introduce you. Looks like you already met Watts. So I guess it's just our princess then. What's the princess? It's the princess's nap time, sir. Oh man. Hey Dookie, sorry, but could you go get the princess? She's in the last room up those stairs. Some of our other guys are in the room on, on the way. Ask him if you get lost. We were hired to run errands. Or were we hired to run errands? Well, are you angry? We're not gophers. We're seed special forces. This is the last time for this kind of thing. Ouch! All right, so we gotta get Rhinoa's card. Our, I can't remember if it's Rhino or Angelo, but we gotta get a card here. And uh, I believe Zone is the dude that has it. So let's save our gat damn game. Uh, 
Ouch, my stomach. Sure, let's play cards. Trade rule one. All right. This is gonna make it quite a bit harder. But we do have some really good cards. So that definitely makes up for it. And he's not playing the cards we want. Um, We can beat anything as long as it's over like a seven. So let's drop him there. He can get him back. And probably will, yeah. Oh, shit. Can they beat a six? Yeah, they can beat a six. Can they beat a six down, though? No, they can't. So let's go... Oh, but if I go here... I don't know, we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's kind of what I thought. Um, actually, this works out amazing for us. Cause now we won, boy! Select one card. Uh, we don't have a Wendigo card, so let's take that one, I guess. Mr. C, you seem to know rules unfamiliar to this re region. Alright, come on, dude. You gotta play... You fucking kids. I can't remember if it's Angelo or fucking uh, Rhinoa that he has. I think it's just Angelo. Might be Rhinoa. Alright. Um, so we'll play defensively again here. Start things off. You know what? Let's go with Mini Bog. Go. Had to do it, didn't you? Ah, shit, he's got a one there. Oh, well, it worked out for me, I guess. I should have the victory here. Yep. Here's the thing I have like everything to lose and only one thing to gain by playing this guy. And I only have the one thing to gain if he plays the goddamn card. Oh, and I can't see his fucking cards this time? Gotta be kidding me. Alright, well this one is usually pretty safe. One and one. Uh... Why did I do that? That was dumb. Okay, uh, I might lose because of that stupid mistake. Oh, hold on. This is way safer. And smarter. Uh, sometimes, but not really. It's just a, it's just a rule that sometimes exists. How's it going tonight, Finny? Oh, man. This is the safest. And I get a card. I didn't even notice that. There we go. Okay, what do we got? He's got garbage. Uh, let's go with Hexadragon because it's for no other reason other than it looks cool. Come on, dude. I'm pretty sure this guy has, has a fucking card we, we want. Going alright? How about me? I'm, I'm doing uh, okay. Doing okay. Alright. There, now he's flipping his cards. Come on, you son of a bitch. Sometimes they take forever to play their good cards. Can he beat a five on the left? Yes, he can. He can beat everything but a seven. So, let's go, uh... Let's go with this. This card game is 10,000 times better than, uh... than Final Fantasy IX's card game. Alright, um, the thing is they got that fucking turtle card. All 
All right. Um. Wow. I think this is gonna end in a draw. That's okay though. He didn't have any cards I needed anyways. Hey Fates, how's it going, dude? Damn, the open rule has spread. Oh right, the open rule is good. Doesn't that isn't that open rule? What shows me their cards? Come on, dude, play. What is that fucking electric card? He's got. Dude, this guy has the shittiest cards. But the best strategy. Uh... This is. Actually, you know what? Oh no, yeah, this is the safest here. I think we're gonna go like this. Because then nobody can get anything back. And. Mm, I want to capture that, but I'm not going to. Shit, actually, I have to, otherwise, I will lose. So. Let's, uh, go like this. Now it's a draw. Oh, I still won, never mind. How's that stardew itch? It's itchy. I think a rash is developing, and it's pretty red down there. You should try this special shampoo. Fates, I'm like, I am like literally, I think all I have to do is like talk to one person and then I'm done Dragon Quest Builders 2. The last, the last like island, there's a fourth island and it drags on forever. Hmm, let's just go like this. And then, like, the final, what I'm assuming was the final boss fight, drags on forever. Shit, if I go like this, then there's no real reason. Ah, oh, whatever. I think it's gonna be a draw, boys. Oh, wait, hold on, I can sneak this guy in now. Haha, -ha, victory is mine, bitch. Let's get admin toys. Fates, you should be able to beat uh, Legend of Ligaya in two to three business days. Uh, let's see, can they beat a 7 on the left or on the bottom? No, they can't. Let's just go like this. Man, I wish I had, uh... Ooh, they can beat a 5. Alright, let's go like this. Alright. Crafty sons of bitches. Let's go like this. And shit, dude. I think I lost. Wait, it might be a draw. Let's see what happens. Oh, we, I won. Okay. I always win. Uh, like Metal Gear Solid, uh, four solid snake dying kind of forever. Yeah, I like that kind of forever. I didn't know you were a Metal Gear fan, Fates. I'm a huge fucking Metal Gear fan. Huge. Can you fucking play the card I want you to play there, pal? There, buddy. Dude, I know it's probably got nothing on... Nothing on Ve where Vector lives. But it is pretty fucking hot here today. I am kind of cooking right now. And not the kind of cooking uh, where I wear like an apron and a miniskirt. Not that kind. Like the, the sweating cooking, you know? I don't need my maid outfit 
unless I'm cooking a meal. Maybe it's this guy, but I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't play. Yeah. So it's gotta be this guy. Dookie loves big metal gears. Yeah, dude. You just played two and four? Dude, you gotta play three. Most people think three is the best one. Two and four are probably my favorites. Look at that sexy dragon fuck. What's that supposed to mean? What's what supposed to mean? I knew that was coming. Uh, can they be just... Uh, yes, they can. So our safest bet right now is going to be this. Ha ha, El Stupid. Welcome to die. I mean, this is definitely the safest thing to do. Alright, let's take these sexy green... Oh, blue dragon. Blue Dagra! Alright, you son of a bitch. You need to play that fucking card. I'm starting to think he doesn't even have that card. We'll play him five more times, including this time. And if he doesn't have the card, then fuck him. If he does have the card, then also fuck him. We are literally using the same strats every fucking round. Um, hey. <laughs> hey. He's gonna capture it immediately. Immediately. Oh yeah? Can't beat this, bitch! Oh yeah? Can't beat this, bitch! We got an imp card. Alright, four more times, baby. Yes! Hey, it's the Angelo card! That's what we're here for. That card right there. Alright. We don't need to catch it in order to win. So let's just, uh, yoink. Let's defend ourselves. We must win! We must be victorious. We might tie. Okay. Uh, let's put this guy in the corner. But wait! If we put him here, it's even better. Alright. There we go. Now we covered our bases. Covered our bases and covered our faces. Oh, wait. That's a one. Um, well, shit. On my dick. Let's just go... Well, I mean, it's a, it's a one and it's a two. So, no matter what... Hold on. We gotta get him to play the bat below that thing and then we can win. So if he plays the bat, which he has to in order to capture it back, then we fucking never mind. We tie. No, we win. Haha! -ha! Suck it, bitch! Give me the Angelo card, you fuck. Alright, now we can go save and continue with the story. And game saved. All right, moving on. Beep, 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 beep. Who's the slap? Hey, you're, you know, from the party. So does that mean you're a seed? What should I name Rhinoa, guys? What should I name Rhinoa? The HDs are so crisp. Pretty much only the character models look good, and the, the monsters and the cards. The backgrounds are still pretty goddamn blurry, but that's how Final Fantasy uh, 7 and 9's remasters were as well. But it is nice you can see the characters' faces. I'm Dookie, the squad leader. There's two others with me. Fates, you're already fucking Quezcoddle. Yes, Seed is here! Tits McGee? Alright, so far I'm leaning towards Tits McGee. No. I'm tired of being... I'm tired of being sexy woman for the time being. Fates is already in the game, though. I've been sending requests. I've been sending nudes to Garden forever, but nothing. I'm so glad I gave them to Sid directly. Oh. 
So you were looking for the headmaster at the party. I can't name her Fates. I already have someone named Fates. I can name her Cypher. That'd be confusing. You know Cypher? Yeah. Name her Sid? Call her Sid? Well, he's the one who introduced me to Sid. Sid is such a nice man. I really didn't think Seed would come out to help a measly little group like us. But after explaining our situation to him, Sid gave the go-ahead right away. Now that you guys are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. Even though they only have one. For now... Yes? I'm going back to the others. Okay, let's go. Wait, isn't there something like in her closet or something? Um, Dookie, is he here? He. Cypher. No, he's not a seed. Oh. Oh yeah, my name's... What about this? Rhinoa. <laughs> B Biatch? Alright, so it's it's Tits McGee or Biatch. Does I don't think Tits McGee fits. Tits McGee does not fit. So I'll see if if Biatch does. It might just fit. Biatch it is, boys! Biatch! Very pleased to meet you, Dookie. Seed members dance quite well, don't they? You should see us dance horizontally. Approach your target inconspicuously at a dance party. There may be missions requiring this sort of subterfuge. It's expected of Seed to learn various skills. Oh, so it's work-related. That's too bad. Here, let me introduce you. Oh no, what should we name the dog? Tits McGee? This is my partner. Doggolo? Eh? You like it? Eh? Huh? Too late. It's it's locked in. Dogolo is really smart. Here, let me tell you. Biatch's limit break uses Dogolo. The tricks Dogolo can learn are listed in the status screen. Dogolo rush. Dogolo recover. Dogolo cannon. The gauge on the right indicates how much has been learned. When the gauge is full, the trick has been learned. The If the gauge is not full, the trick is yet to be learned. To learn a new trick, move the cursor to the trick name and press the X button. Now as Biatch walks around, the gauge will fill up and Dogolo will learn the new trick. If you select a trick that has already been learned, there will be a message before you close the screen. Telling you, you're stupid. You can learn new tricks by reading a magazine called Pet Pals. After reading Pet Pals, access the screen to change the settings. That's all for Biatch's Limit Breaks. She's got the weirdest limit breaks. Smart, huh? I have some important work to do now. Be good, doggo -lo. Okay, I'll meet you there. She must beat that dog. He's so fucking sad, man. Alright. Let's see if we can uh, sniff a panty drawer. Huh? Oh, we probably should have, should have saved, but oh well. This is Zell. And Selfie. 
Hi everyone. This way. Hims has no tail. What are you? What? What are you talking about? Just stand. Oh, the dog. Yeah, that's true. It's like it looks like a collie, but it doesn't have a tail. I know it probably like slammed it in a door or something. Just stand anywhere you want. This is a full-scale operation. Our resistance to the forest owls will be forever known in the pages of Timber's Independence. Exciting, huh? It all started when we got a hold of top secret info from Galbadia. There's a VIP room. Uh, there's a VIP from Galbadia coming to Timber. Super VIP. The guy's name is Vinzer Delling, our arch enemy and the president of Galbadia. Vinzer Delling is a scoundrel. Cool guy Zell with the tribal face tattoos. Yeah, dude. He's got the Mike Tyson tattoo. Did he have that before Mike Tyson had that, though? I can't- I don't know when Mike Tyson got that tattoo. This game came out, I think, in, like, 98. He's a dictator, not a president. Not even popular in Galbadia, sir. Yeah, so, obviously he's a dictator because the capital of Galbadia is called Delling City. And the president's name is Delling. That'd be like if, if like, in the United States or something, the president- the- every time there was a new president, they just changed the name of the capital. So instead of Washington, D.C., it'd be Trump, D.C. right now. President Delling is taking a private train from the Galbadian capital. Good question. Someone should consult the goggles. Put your goggles on and research it, Finny. Dibs not. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Our plan is to... Man, at least in the HD version, that doesn't look like a ramp leading to the basement. It actually looks like... A little model train display. In the original, I always thought it was a ramp leading into a basement, but you can clearly tell it's a table in this version. Blow it to smithereens with a rocket launcher? Uh, not quite. So get to the point. Just tell us what to do. Shall we begin? First, I'll go over the model. The yellow train on the top right is our base. We're riding it. We're riding in it right now. Right next to it is the dummy car. We made it l we made it to look just like the president's car. Their train has three cars. First, there's the locomotive, followed by the first escort. The red car is the president's car. Delling should be inside. I like how, uh... I like how they overcomplicate the shit out of this mission. Like, when I first played this mission, I was like, Oh my god, I'm never gonna remember all this shit! But it basically does it all for you. You just walk across the cars like twice and punch in codes. The last car is the second escort. Once we get on this one, we begin the operation. Our ultimate goal is to seize the president in his car using our base. That means we'll have to switch our dummy car with their president's car. We'll use the two switch points leading up to Timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'm going to explain the procedures in seven steps. Step one, sneak on board the second, the second escort. We'll get on the roof of the second escort by jumping from our dummy car. <laughs> the second escort. Car is the only one that is equipped with sensors, sir. A high tech officer is on board. I'll talk about the sensors later. Step three, proceed across the roof of the president's car. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Delling hates the company of his guards and being surrounded by sensors and keeps them away from his car. Step four, uncouple the first escort car. We'll have to complete the uncoupling before the first switch point. If we don't, boom, game over, right? Yeah, so we'll have to move fast. I'll explain the uncoupling process later. Okay, step five, have the dummy car and our base move in after uncoupling. After the car is uncoupled, we'll have the dummy car and the, our base move in. At this point, our train and their train will be linked and be moving together. Un step six, uncouple the second escort car. This is the last uncoupling. The process will probably be similar to the first one. 
Step 7, escape with the president's car and our base. If all goes well, we should be able to escape with the president's car. After that, we'll return to our base and prepare to confront Delling. And I'm not really going through all that. We have exactly five minutes to complete the seven procedures. If we fail, our train will collide with theirs at the switch point and it'll be all over. Don't forget that. Five minutes? You sure that's enough? According to the simulation that we ran, it should only take three minutes to complete the operation. Piece of cake for seeds, right? Of course, too easy. Okay now, let's talk about how to avoid the sensors on the second car. Go ahead, Watts. The guards have a sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. Any sound will trigger the sound sensor. So move across very quietly, sir. The blue guard is carrying this sensor. The temperature sensor will go off if you uh, remain stationary, sir. The guard in red is carrying this one, sir. When a, gu when a guard opens uh, the blind, that means he's checking the sensors, so be careful. The range on these sensors is equal to the length of one window, so keep an eye on the window below, sir. So, exactly how do you avoid them? Hey, Grenick, how's it going, dude? Stop if there's a blue guard below you. Run if there's a red guard below you. Um, basically run or stop, depending on which guard is below you. I just kind of get out of the way, I think. That's about it for the sensors. Next, let's talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. Question, how can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? Um, we can't uncouple the cars directly. Instead, we'll have to tamper with the control system that manages the coupling. If we temporarily disable the circuit for the connection, the car will uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to enter several codes. Yeah, dude. This so uh, overcomplicates what actually goes on. And we have the codes. Biatch has them, sir. I'll be in charge of relaying the codes to Dookie. Dookie, you'll slide down on the side of the train using a cable and enter the codes into the system. Yeah, dude, I like hate. There's a lot of hate for it, but it's a good game. Now, I need you to listen carefully. Each code is made up of numbers between 1 to 4 and has 4 digits, 2, 3, 4, 1 as an example. But the keypad won't have numbers, instead it'll have 4 buttons. For instance, if I relay the code 3124, you'll have to push square, circle, x, triangle, in that order. You'll have to be quick and precise. You'll have about 5 seconds to enter each code. Otherwise the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. So like we said, we have to enter all the codes to disable the connections. After we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Remember, we only have five minutes to do everything, so make sure that you're prepared. Okay, let's try practicing entering the code. Enter three codes, and you'll be finished. If you want to quit, hold down L1. Alright, 2241. Code 1 confirmed. Code is 1111. Ooh, diff highly difficult code. Code 2 confirmed. The third one is 3413. You got it. In the real thing, there's a strict time limit leading up to the switch point. Don't forget that. Um, that is all. By the way, this model's nice, but the president's car looks kind of shabby. Why is that? Yeah, Biatch made it, that's why. We bought everything else from the gift store. Oh, I thought some kid made it. The paint job sucks, too. Yeah, it kind of does. Oh, shut up. I made it look like that on purpose. It represents my hatred towards Delling. It actually looks nice. The red car looks just as nice, if not nicer, than the others. Hatred, eh? Yeah, right. It's one of the ugliest things that I've ever seen in my life. You must really hate him. Are you guys finished? Enough about the model. Can we get on with it now? Yes, I understand. God, please don't explain that again. Let's decide on the party. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Oh, my stomach. We're moving again. I'll go take a look. Talk to Watts when you're ready. The sooner the better. The wetter the better. Clipping from the magazine. Anarchist Munch Monthly First Issue. Galbadia's di Dictator. President Vinzer Delling Special. How does he stay in power? We reveal his darkest secrets. Second issue. President Delling became the president after the Second Sorceress War ended. To gain support quickly, he carried out the invasion of Timber. It was only a ploy to decorate an already corrupt man's immoral career. Our land timber was brutally destroyed. Here began Vinzer Delling's road to dictatorship. Why would that, like, 
make him look like a better president. Taking over a small town and just like, yeah, conquering a small, invading a small town. Have you seen the dummy of the president, sir? If you haven't, please take a look see. It's a piece of art. I know the kidnapping plan must be tough, but best of luck to you, sir. Are you ready? Not yet. Gotta go save and look at the president's dummy. Dummy looks real, huh? No one will ever realize it's a fake. I'm in a bad mood right now. If there's nothing in particular, I order you to leave immediately. Who are these fucks? I'm the one who made the dummy president. It talks when you get close enough. I hope it will trick the guards. We're gonna have the dummy uh, hold a newspaper. That way his face is covered. No guard would dare look over the paper after what we programmed him to say. Alright, let's save the game and do this overcomplicated, not very complicated mission. By the way, folks, it is uh, now September, which means that uh, all subs, uh, renews and, uh, and new subs, are half price. So if you've ever wanted to sub to this sexy son of a bitch, now's your chance to do it for half the cost. If you haven't, please take a look-see. It's a piece of art, blah, blah, blah. Just let me, I wanna, I wanna do the thing. Oh yeah, Granik, you've been busy, hey? You've been like traveling and shit. Are you back or are you are you still away? Dookie, over here. Okay. We'll catch up with the second escort soon. Let's get ready. We should uh, time our jumps well after we catch up to them to save some time. From now, we have exactly five minutes to complete the operation. Oh, you're back? Sweet, dude. Let's try to use every second. Dookie, over here! Huh? What the? It's not working. What's wrong? Maybe it's defective. It can't be broken. But the Sarge made it. Impossible. If I tell him... Oh, these guys don't even... It's not even working? I'm wasting time standing there? This is the President's car. After we get across, we'll proceed with the first uncoupling. I get a dose of Daily Grenick with your music recommendations. That was an impressive jump for that angle and speed. <laughs> Everything is in order, sir. You again? That's 27 times now. How many more times do you plan to disturb me with that meaningless report? Sir, I'm sorry, sir, but it's my duty, sir. Just jump forward on a moving train. Yeah, but your momentum makes you moving forward as well, so I don't think it would like be that hard. It's hard to believe that anyone would put up with this nonsense. I guess it's none of my business. Dismissed. Sir, yes sir. Hey Tango. There goes next month's paycheck. How am I gonna propose to her now? I'm gonna have to put it off again. This is the first escort. We're gonna uncouple this first. Like Watt said, there should be two guards on this car. Selfie and Zell, you guys keep an eye on the guards. Let us know early. Uh, early, if you see them coming. Lose momentum without being planted on the train. It's no longer pulling you. Yeah, but you're still... You would lose like a bit, probably, but not a lot, I don't think. There's only one way to find out. Alright, I'll watch the blue guard. I'll take red. All right, Tango. Nice of you to show up during this uh, time-sensitive mission, but good timing. Perfect, perfect timing. The red guard is closer. You might want to keep an eye on him, too. Hold down L1 to look to your left and release it to go back. Are you ready to enter the codes? Yeah, baby. Okay, Dookie, get the cable ready. I think I just pushed up to bail. The system to enter the code is down there. You can't miss it. Press down to go down. And to come up, press up. You won't be able to come up while you're entering the code, so be careful. Let's do it! Alright, tell me the codes, bitch. 3221. Alright, hurry up, lady. 
One, one, three, three. Up, up, up! <laughs> Goddamn, Tango, get your claws out of my leg. Alright, we should be good now. Alright, tell me the codes, lady! Like how there's no rope there at all. Four, one, one, one. They couldn't HD in a in a cord. Dookie, this way. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> I was like moving around in these cutscenes to make it look stupid as shit. He's like crawling. I'm scared! <laughs> what should I do? I know he's not gonna like it, but it's my job. Uh, sir, everything is in order, sir. Huh? He's not angry. Phew, that's strange. Oh, he's reading the paper. I wonder where he got it. What? Is there a problem? I'm in a bad mood right now. If there's nothing in particular. I order you to leave immediately. Sir, I, uh, yes, sir. You, don't just stand there. Go back to your station. Yes, sir. There's a, there goes another paycheck. That's two in one day. What the heck? Is this the right train? The interior looks different. Looks shabbier. Maybe not. What am I gonna do? No ring, and now no more candlelight dinner. I'm never gonna be able to get married. This is the second escort. After this, we're home free. I think there are two guards on this car too. Zell and Selfie are up ahead, working on the uncoupling the train, our train from theirs. So I'm on my own. Watch your right side. Hold R1. Blah blah blah. All right, let's go. Come on. You gotta enter five codes this time. Big boy. Yeah, I'm ready. Three minutes left. I got over three minutes. Alright, come on. Three, one, three, four. What? Oh, I put three, two. No, I've never fucked this up in my entire life. I've never once in my life. Alright, give me one more. I can probably do it. Three, three, one, four. Go up! Go up! Oh, dude, this I've never fucked this up before in my life. Uh, it's nothing. We got it. Wow. That has never happened before. Now we have 5 minutes. Somehow it added time. 2313 Up, oh, let's get up. Up, 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 up. Yeah, Tango, I know. We got caught like a bunch of chumps. Oh shit, now this guy's coming though. Up, 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 up. Uh oh, I think we're fucked. Wow! I have never failed this before. I have now failed it twice. This is crazy. Never in my life. Now we have six minutes left. Somehow we keep getting more time. Because the game knows I'm stupid. Come on, tell me the fucking code, you dumb bitch. 2432. Two. Yeah, I'm losing shitloads of cool points, man. If I keep failing, will I all, will I get like 10 minutes? It's like, all right, now there's only 10 minutes left. <laughs> 4114. I'm definitely going to be losing my seed rank. I'm A rank right now. That won't last. Shit, this guy's coming back again. Oh, she gave me the code. I'm going to fail again. Oh, my God, dude. What the fuck? I have never failed this once in my life! What is it, 25 hours now I have? 
Holy fuck, this is pissing me off. Two, 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 two. How many fucking codes? I think I have to start over each time, too. Yeah, I do. One, four, one, three. Get up, you stupid, dumb slut! I have never had this happen in my life, entire life, and I've played this game a million times, man. What the fuck? Four, two, one, four. Just go up. Just go up. Okay, it's, here's the thing. As soon as I go down, they're going to start coming. Let's fast forward it so they come. This is unbelievable. This is never once in my fucking, like, 15 years of playing this game happened. 1143. I mean, by failing, I'm restarting anyways, so... Alright, is that all of them? That fucking better be all of them. Wow, that was fucking appalling. That was atrocious. At least I could do this. God, that was horrible. My seed rank's gonna go from A to fucking 2. Yeah, but I still have- I have a lot of those exams. I can still take those seed exams. I think you can only drop by one each time. So I'll just, I would drop to like 30 and then I just take another exam and then I go back up. So it's not a big deal. It just was a big old waste of time and hugely fucking embarrassing because that has never happened. Yeah, I don't know, it was stupid. Finally, we've waited so long for this encounter with Vincer. Excellent, sir. Well done, sir. Super duper, sir. Actually, it was quite fucking terrible. Well then. Leave the intelligence up to me, sir. Ouch. Burp. You three, tell me when you're ready to go. As soon as you're ready, I'll begin serious negotiations with the president. Serious negotiations? Better make sure my girlfriend's equipped. I think my girlfriends are equipped. Alright, let's go save though. Save that horrific fucking outing. God damn. President Delling is going to be easy peasy boss fight though. Easy fucking peasy. Alright, go GG. Ready? Oh fuck yeah! President Delling, as long as you don't resist, you won't get hurt. And if I do resist, what would you do, young lady? Uh, the fuck? Chris, this would be hilarious here. What's wrong? Boo-hoo, too bad. I'm not the president. I'm what they call a body double. All these rumors about the many resistance groups in Timber. You pass along a little false information and they fall for it. How pathetic. Seems like there are only amateurs around here. Amma? Cheers? Ah, oh, my butt hurts from all this sitting, young lady! Ah, so what did you have in store for me had I resisted? Why don't you tell me? Aw, oh, shit. Quite amusing, though, for being such amateurs. How dare you insult the president? She. Why'd we do it? Why'd we insult the president? Holy fuck, that was creepy. That is way creepier in HD. You fell for it. Yeah, well, you, you gonna die, bitch. Oh my god, why does Zell not have a GF on him? What the f what in the actual fuck? Whatever, I still... Dude, what the fuck? I swear to fuck they changed some shit in this HD remaster. There's no reason these guys 
should have equipped. Why would these guys have equipped unequipped their GFs? They were in my party the whole fucking time. What the? Yeah, you're fucking telling me what the. Dude, if I wasn't over fucking powered from the uh for breaking the game, we would be actually fucked here. But myself and Zell should both be overpowered. Zell is a baller, and now he's a blind baller. Berserk. That's honestly a good thing. Makes things easier for me. I think we got him. Nope. Yep. Man, that was ridiculous. Zombie powder. How much? We missed 20 fucking AP? Man, I can't believe the president was a fake. Hey, Ambrose, how's it going, dude? We've been playing like shit tonight. Can't believe we fell for it. Info, sir. New info. It's big news. I found out the real reason why the president's here, sir. The president's going to the TV station. Security's super tight, sir. The TV station? Why in timber? They can broadcast just as easily from Galbadia. Do you think the Dalek communication tower has anything to do with this? Remaster? Doing good, bro. And yourself? I am doing alright. What's that? Dalek has a communication tower that can transmit and receive radio waves. It had been abandoned for a long time, but the Galbadian army got it up and running yesterday. Oh, I get it. The only TV station that can handle broadcasts over the air is in Timber. The other stations use HD remasters, which only supports online broadcasting. So, what's that supposed to mean? They're planning on using radio waves. This way they can transmit images to regions without cable. I know that. What I want to know is, what is the president going to broadcast? Doing good in yourself. Uh, playing sober. Oh, dude, that is a... I hate that game. Why use radio waves? There must be something they want to say to the whole world. What can it be? Everybody, love and peace. Everyone's cringing at once. If I remember correctly, radio waves hadn't been used in 17 years. It's been that long? Wouldn't it be wonderful if the first broadcast could be the Declaration of Timber's Independence? Hey! That might be possible. Let's come up with a plan then. It's so good. <laughs> Can you give, guys give us a minute? Yeah, it the game the gameplay mechanics I, I like really did not like. Can't we go home now? What about our contract? Shouldn't we check it, Dookie? They call that a strategy meeting? Oh, good timing. We've come up with a plan. Before we get into that, can I see your contract with our garden? Oh, sure. God damn it. My coaster keeps sticking to my bottle. What's it say? Balam Garden, hereafter referred to as Party A, acknowledge acknowledges the Forest Owls, hereafter referred to as Party B as the Hiring Party. Seed, hereafter referred to as Party C, shall be dispatched upon signing of this contract. Party C shall operate under the supervision... Gonna take my pirates and my Saharan tribesmen and my soldiers and keep on with it? Keep on keeping on. The hell? I don't get it. Oh yeah, that one's pretty confusing. When I told him I didn't understand, he gave me a different one. Just whips it out of her hand. Sid is such a nice man. What's it say this time? 
To the Forest Owls, this seed deployment contract will last until Timber receives, achieves independence. Please make good use of each seed member. I wish you the best with your objective. Please understand that this contract is an exception and no replacement of any seed members can be made. Long Garden Headmaster Sid Kramer. Son of a bitch! Until Timber's independence? That is so vague! Hey, you're paid professionals, no complaining. Okay, let's decide on the parties. We do get paid well by the hour. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Ouch, my stomach. So of the four of us, the ones who'll be heading to the TV station will be... Not, not you. Okay, you. You and me and Zell. Is he like status fucked? Oh, he's blinded. So he's still like Final Fantasy X now where status fucks don't last out of battle. Alright, we got a junction, peeps. I think we were doing uh, Fates and Oigle. Strength. We want... We don't need GF anymore, uh, so let's go... Ah, uh, what are you doing, GG? Oh, hold on, hold on, we don't actually want him to have- Ow, fates! There we go. Um... What do we want? Magic, draw, and item. And this one, and- Ow! Hey, get out of here! If only she could come out of the party. Yeah, dude. Alright, who the fuck has my other summons then? Sanity and Fates. I'll go to Biatch. Let's give her GF, draw, and card. And magic plus 20, I guess. And let's give all of selfies magic to Biatch. Including the extra Kuragas. I don't know why she even has them. Why the fuck does Quistus have them? Oh, right, Chris has had those extra ones. Okay, never mind. Alright, so let's go in. HP. There we go. Man, and I was, like, complaining about the materia system. I'm thinking this is actually more annoying to reconfigure. Um, if we got eye drops, that would be a lot better than having to waste a remedy, but I guess we gotta go with remedy. You guys don't have like an inn or anything on this train, do you? She's good enough to use them. Blue magic is hilarious on this one. Yeah, Quistus, yeah. I wonder if we can just rest in Rhinoa's room. Hey, there's a... I didn't even know that. Where the fuck did her bed go? We got Pet Pals Volume 2. I didn't even know you could get that here. Um, Dogolo Recover. Look at that ugly dog face in the picture. If you ever wish your pet could rescue you in battle, this is just the trick for your dog to learn. Your dog finds and uses potions and other cures on a member who's near KO with this trick. It's called Dogolo Recover. Very nice trick indeed. What was the first one? Dogolo Strike. Those pictures are awful. <laughs> That is the most depressed dog ever. Alright, let's save. It's too bad we can't rest at an inn, but I think we can once we get to Timber. Just because uh, Biatch's hit points are incredibly low. 
The TV station, sir. It's quite close if you take the local train, but the local and transcontinental trains have stopped running, sir. Nothing to worry about, sir. There must be someone who knows, in town who knows. Are you ready? Yeah. Best of luck, sir. I'll be keeping watch here. Okay. A guy dressed as a cadet gathering information. He was asking about the president's stay. I found it strange that a cadet would keep asking about the president. He was very polite and kept addressing me as sir. I think I know who you're talking about. He was taking care of three suspicious looking characters from Balan. I'll go question every teenager in the area. No! We can't just go up to anybody and... <laughs> These are citizens. We can't inflict any... How dare they try to kidnap the president! Not only is it disrespectful to the president, but also to us Galbadian soldiers as well. I'll be sure to find them and throw their sad behinds in jail. Everybody just disobeys orders. Please hear me out to the very end. <laughs> Say, I remember now, sir. I think the TV station is located behind a building called Timber Maniacs. Please head in that direction, sir. I hope you find it. Watts, come on, the Galbadian soldiers are coming! Yeah, his troops are awful. Lots of guards patrolling the city now. Please be careful, sir. Seems like the hotel is not available either. Should you need to recover, use the owl's tear, sir. Heard it works wonders. I believe you can find it at the old man's house. Guess you won't be needing it anyway. You're all seeds. You'll be fine, right, sir? Hey! Don't leave me, sir! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, I don't know who has it worse. That, that Galbadian soldier guy or fucking... Um... Watts. guys are going to be dropping like flies. Oops, I didn't even pull the trigger on my love gun. Dead bitch. Nice. So we want to get to about level level 30 for when we can leave town. We can't leave town right now, though. Can we go to the pet shop place now? Oh, this is just like G returners and shit. Why would you need to learn draw? Don't they all come with... Ah, here we go. This is what I wanted. Oh, do they have like a cap on... Um, they must have a cap on how many abilities they can learn. Alright, let's read these stupid pet magazines. Research shows a relationship between the moon and your dog. Do you know how your dog can use the power of the moon to help you? It's Invincible Moon! The moon's mysterious power can make all allies invincible. Do a lot of walking with your dog to help him learn this trick. I need the search one so I can get those. So in uh, the original version of Final Fantasy VIII, there was a pocket station game that came with it uh, called Chocobo's... It, I don't know what it was called. Chocobo's Adventure or some shit. Anyways. Um, and in the PC version, you can actually play it. But in the North American PlayStation release, you couldn't play it because the pocket station wasn't released here. So in this version, they added the items that you get from playing that uh, mini game, that Chocobo mini game. Uh, they added the items... Uh, and made them available for Angelo to find. So I really want to get them because I've never actually had those items before. Have you ever been KO'd by a monster? Even reviving doesn't help because you get KO'd right back. To answer your desperate call for help, use Dogolo Reverse. Your dog finds Phoenix Downs to revive KO'd parties, party members in battle. Alright. Sounds terrible. We should uh, get her to learn something though. Five party from KO. Let's 
go with that one. Boom, badoom, 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 badoom. How's Timber been treating you? Pretty shitty, actually, lady. Son of a bitch. Oh, it's just one lonely dude. Oh my god, he's gonna attack. He's attacking Biatch. The only one who can actually die. Doggolo, attack! Is the dog attacks random? Or do you get to, like, choose? I don't remember. Alright, let's go to the Timber Maniacs building, because there's some cool shit in here. And it's not really that cool, but... What can I do for you, honey? We're gonna take a look around. We just want to look around. Okay, uh, go right on ahead. There's definitely a Timber Maniacs issue in here, and there might even be a... Hey, Blazaga! Holy shit tits! Uh, let's give that to Biatch, I guess. Because, uh, Zell and I aren't gonna be, uh, using magic at all. Do, do. Found an old issue of Timber Maniacs. Alright. So this is, uh... I think we get an item if we listen to all this guy's boring ass stories. So we'll just put it on fast forward and listen to this guy's boring ass stories. A word of advice, you're still young, don't let your life pass you by. I think, yeah, I think Laguna started the Timber Maniacs. So much better with the fast forward feature. Another stupid story by a boring adult. This guy needs to grow up. What? You say I look like an artist? As a matter of fact, I am. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought we got something from listening to all that guy's bullshit stories. Is that the timber flag on the wall? It's pretty cool that it actually has like its own flag. What? You're walking to the TV station. We have no choice. The trains aren't running. Let's see. There used to be a way through the back alley of this house. The pub was built around the time they stopped broadcasting. We haven't used the back alley too much since then. Why don't you look through the second floor window? You should be able to see the back alley. Okay, I don't know where the fucking owl's tear is, man. They fight a lot, but my parents totally get along. I can't wait to meet, uh, meet a great guy I can scream at and exchange blows with. That sounds really weird. It's not even our kitty, but it's always sleeping on our bed. Can you believe him? He eats up a lot of our food, too. That's why we're charging a look-see fee. We can't help it. It's the kitty's fault. Go to that uh, window there. Look out the window. Don't they try and charge me like two bucks or something? That's 10 gil, please. Hey, you at it again? How many times have I told you not to take money from people? Holy! Just laid the smack down on that kid. Ah, oh, I reduced the price from a thousand gil, though. It's not about the money. I didn't raise you this way. You don't have to pay me.
Wait, what's that? Oh, whatever. You guys watch yourselves. Some seedy looking guys were heading towards the pub. The pub is downstairs. I think I smell blood. I hope it's just my imagination. Are we on a date, you're asked? Does it look like we are? We're on patrol to keep peace in this town. Looks like you're on a date. Heh, <laughs> that was too easy, man. <laughs> For a country bumpkin, he sure had some good stuff. Yo, better ease off a little. These timber hicks hate us enough as it is. Let's get him! I should probably have Rhinoa casting Cure on herself. That would be smart. Come on. There we go. Cure. Cast. On yourself. And Zell should be able to kill him in one hit. Dead. Let the There we go. HPJ. We got a Buell card. That's a pretty trash card. Magic plus 40. I'm attack J. Alright. What do we got here? Nice. He's got HPJ now, so that helps a lot. I don't really need Siren. Pretty much just Rage is good enough. Up the attack. Alright, good night, Fates. Thanks for coming out, dude. I'll be streaming, uh, is tomorrow Wednesday? Let's take a look. Yep, I'll be streaming tomorrow morning. I'll be streaming some Mega Man Battle Network. So does uh, Siren have HP? No. Siren? Oh yeah, Siren has uh... Right, yeah, let's keep Siren. Alright, good enough. But what we really need are some goddamn potions. And some goddamn Phoenix Downs. And some goddamn... Um, remedies are expensive. But we should get that many. And we should get uh, two more tents. And then that's probably good for him. Cure? I thought there was a save point out here. Son of a bitch. Have a good one, Fates. Dead. Over a fucking kill and a half, man. I've had enough of this city. Came from Dalit to have me a good time, and now trains are no longer running. I can't even stay in a hotel because of some stupid official. Harassed by Galbadian soldiers. Had my precious card stolen. This hasn't been my day. Those jerks. They think they can use brute force to get anything they want. Hell, this town's a good example. Yeah. Everything's jacked up because the resistance tried to kidnap the president. Uh, thanks to them, the trains have stopped. There's Galbadian soldiers all over the place. All because of them! They don't understand. I'm the one suffering from their reckless actions. Stupid, boneheaded, good-for-nothing resistance. You can just kiss my... Hey! You don't understand anything. The Resistance is fighting for Timber's future. They're all doing the best they can. It's the Galbadian soldiers and their leader who's at fault. Psh. Look at that weird tiger face. Looks even better in this version. How to distinguish the drinks? Well, to make it short, labels are red, green, or yellow. They're either sweet or bitter. You wanna go through the back alley? It might be a little difficult right now. He's being pretty stubborn. The guy throws a fit when you try to move him from that spot. 
That drunk thinks the bitter ones are good and sweet ones are bad. Our drinks are all good quality. He should try them all, really. Talk to him. We need to get through. Jeez, now I'm getting dissed by some punk. Owner, give me another drink. Uh... Buy him a drink? Let's give him the, uh, Kyrie. Hey, 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 I may need be no connoisseur, but I got my favorite. I'm gonna drink some more of the same thing I'm drinking right now. What the hell are you drinking right now? Tell him about the card. Is this your card? Huh? It is! Why do you have it? Found it outside. Are you serious? Okay, thanks. Know what? I'm feeling generous. You can keep that card. And also this one. I'll move out of the way now. Hey, owner. I can't stand up. Can you help me? I don't know what happens if you give him the right drink. I don't think I've ever done it. Yeah, we got demoted. We're only, uh... Seed rank level 30 now instead of A, but that's okay. I think the pay is the same. Oh, hold on. Let's talk to this guy. Do you really know the kidnapping? It's like playing tag. Mommy said you catch him and then you give him a spank. Well, I guess it's kind of like that. Cookies are ready. Coming. What does this asshole say, though? Hey, asshole. Tag to me. Uh, heels anchor director watch. Why are people like in movies and video games always hanging out in like the back alley behind bars? I have never once, even like, like you don't even have access to the back alley. The only time I've ever had the access to the back alley of a bar was when my friend's band was playing at the bar, so we were allowed like backstage and stuff when they were having their drinks in between sets. That is the only time I've been in the back alley behind a bar. Like literally, most in most cases, a bar is like in the middle of the block, so you'd have to go around the block and then down the back alley. Anyways, thank you guys so much for coming out. I'm gonna call it a stream here tonight. Um, I will be back Wednesday, um, Wednesday morning or tomorrow morning, I guess, to play some Mega Man Battle Network 2, and then on Thursday. I might just stream all afternoon, but uh, we'll see what happens. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming out. If you haven't yet, please give me a follow here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash 3 Click that heart. Show me some love. Give me one step closer to that Final Fantasy Type 0 goal. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out all my past streams at youtube.com slash 3 And also check out my uh, top 10 Super NES games and Genesis games vids. Uh, you can like and follow me on Facebook to be notified of what and when I'll be streaming next. And of course, the best place to stay in touch is the Discord. And don't forget, all this month is September. So, basically, all subs, all returning subs and new subs are half price throughout this month. So, if you've ever wanted to drop a sub bomb and you just didn't want to pay the full price, now's the time to do it, boys. Um, anyways... I hope you guys have a good rest of your night, and I'll see you fine fucks tomorrow.